Hello. This is Josh, and this is my Walking Dead Death Predictions for Season 4, Part 2. And then I'll talk a little bit about people that will be on the, on the show beyond Season 4. And then a couple of groups who I think to be in, and places they might go for Season 4, 5, and even 6. And then the top 10 spoilers for The Walking Dead, which you might not want to be there when I read the part. So hi. Andrew Lincoln. That's Rick Ryan, 50 people don't realize the real name. Rick. I put him as alive. 100% safe till season 5 and beyond. Dale Dixon. Alive. 100% safe. You're welcome. Till season whatever. Um, Glenn. Possibly he could die this season, so I put him at possible death, 50% dead, and 50% alive. Same thing with Maggie, 50% alive. I put Maggie at 50% dead and 50% alive. Carl Grimes, Grimes is another one of those definite alive. 100% safe till season 6, 7, 8, maybe even 10. Um, Michelle, she, she'll be alive. I put her at 90% safe, but that's still good. Even though she's my favorite character, that's still good. She's alive. Carol, I like your character, but I gave you a 75% alive because you did go out on your own and you did something bad, but Rick made you go out on your own and actually um, try to find another group because you they think you are the one who killed, um, Karen David and, the, um, Pratt. But I don't think it was you. Um, I actually think it was either someone that, two, two people, no, three people I can think of who might have done it. Okay. Beth Green. 80% alive and safe. She's also my favorite character. Tyree. 60% safe, dead or alive. I think, seem to think it's alive because not everybody knows about you. They need to know more about you, so you're alive. You're welcome. Sasha. I put Sasha as alive. 70% safe and alive. She did better than her brother on the thing that I made up for myself. But she's alive. I hope so. Bob Stokey. Okay, here's my commentary on Bob Stokey. My commentary on Bob Stokey. 100% safe and alive. If you are wondering why you think I think he won't die until season 5 yet, it's because one, they mentioned something about a relationship between her, a uh, sorry, <laughs> between Sasha, Sasha's for her, between Sasha and, um, Bob Stokey. And apparently they go, go out together, and they fall in love with each other. But if you've seen The Walking Dead TV show, they seem to kill off, kill off one of the members of the couple, like, Karen and Dave, no, sorry. Karen and, and um, what's the name? Karen and Tyreek. They killed off Karen, they didn't want to kill off Tyreek. Um, if they decide to kill anybody, between Daryl and Carol, it'd be Carol. Like, Lori, they killed Lori. So, those are more example. So, Bob Stokey's alive. For you people who like Lizzie, Lizzie Samuel, um, the one who I think is blonde, 30% safe. Um, I put her at safe or dead or alive. Which means if she's safe, somehow, she'll be alive. But she might die by season 5. Because they seem to kill off the kids too on the TV show. But 
but there's also another thing that I'll talk about at the end that I forgot to write in the script. Luke, the um, Afro Kid, 20% safe, but I think he'll die this season, definitely. Mika Samuel, 30, 30 to 50% safe, uh, 30 to 50% safe, so that means half alive or half dead for Lizzie and Mika. Molly, 25% safe and alive, and she could die too. Morgan Jones, but I give him um, a 90, between a 90 and a 100% alive and safe. But only because he supposedly comes in season four, which we finally see him again after season one. So it's very interesting for these people who haven't seen him. These three new characters that we don't know about, we only know the name. Abraham Ford, Rosita, and Faniza, and Eugene Porter. 100% safe for all three of them. And safe, because we don't know anything about them. They'll be in season 5. Garrett, 100% safe too. He's in a character for us to mention. Sam, he's like the kid you saw when Anna died. The episode Anna died when you saw them come down the stairs. Uh, my prediction is, I gave him a 10% safe, but I think he's most likely died because he got bit something. Okay, moving on to Tara. Those people who know Tara, um, the one that wasn't a lesbian, or I don't know which one the lesbian was. Um, so either one who said they were a lesbian. Um, basically in the TV show, um, the other girl, um, I forget her name, but she apparently went out with this girl, fakely, because the other girl, Tara, thought that, Tara thought that that other girl liked her, but ending up having a boyfriend and cheating on her, so, so, she pretended to be a lesbian, but she wasn't. Moving on to Ted, um, the Judith Prime. I give her a 70% alive. If you see, um, prediction videos and stuff like proof that she's alive, watch them because I think she is. Because you see, um, in a trailer you see Harry running like this, but he's holding like a baby, so, um, I think she's alive. Possibly. If you people don't want, do not want to hear any spoilers, then I suggest you stop watching now. If not, continue to watch it. If you read the comic, but you still don't want to know what might happen, then you can click too. Okay, I'm warning you. This is your last chance to give you 10 seconds. Okay, people. So, number 24, possibly the Hunters come in this season. My prediction is they come in by the end of the season. Because if you look on the internet, they have this thing about, um, a rumored episode called The Attack of the Hunters. So, The Attack of the Hunters could last more than one episode, or it could just, like, be killed off. Every hunter could be killed off, like, the governor. A savior. Oh, the hunters are 100% safe, or they could die. They could be 100% safe. But my prediction is they're like 40% safe and like 60% dead. I don't think they're going to make it to season 5. Maybe one or two of them, but not all. Alright, the savior. Definitely. Um, not coming to the season 5 or 6. And, and the hunters are still here by season 5 not coming in season 6. Or they might just finally send all that on in. Alexandria Safe Zone. In the beginning of the season. Then had the Savior come in. Season 5. But then they'll have to find a new home. Because in the comics, they're at the, they're at the Alexandria Safe Zone. But they bought, the Savior bombed that. And so they had to leave. Okay. My guess, season 6 or 7. My 
guess till season 6 and 7 when, the, um, when all the hunters are dead and then when the savers come in and then when they die. But then there's another group, the Kingdom Survivors or something, something like that. So I think they might die too. But all the Wolverine people should be dead by season 5. Can you see on, if you see on the bus of episode, season 4 episode 8, you'll see that there's people on the bus that you never saw before. So those are people. And those little kids, Tyrese, and all those other people are part of that. So, um, okay, moving on. Moving on to places that that the Walking Dead people could be going to. Number one. Oh yeah, I'm actually going to talk a little bit about this in this video. I'm only trying to make it like 15 minutes, so that way you guys can watch it. And leave comments at the bottom below, so you can tell me what you think or what what videos you want me to make about the Walking Dead people. I'll make a video like every three days. Okay. The first place I predict is Power Plant. Well, earlier this year, well last year, they were talking about this power plant that they could go to, and like somehow it like explodes when something happens. So maybe they go there to see if there's something, but then the hunters are there, the survivors, no, the saviors are there, and then they go to try to kill people. But the savior, the hunters are the people that actually eat people, which is disgusting. Alright. Alexandria Safe Yard, which is safe zone. Um, if they make it there, it'll probably be the end of season four, like the last episode. Like the thing that they do, like, right before season ends. They show, like, the prison. They only show, like, a glimpse of it. Okay, so. Herschel Farm. This probably won't happen, but in the comics, they go back to Herschel Farm for a little bit, but they end up leaving, so I don't think that's going to happen, but it could. Fort Benning, like they've been talking about. Fort Benning was the place they wanted to go. It's a military base, but I'm thinking they probably won't be going there because there's probably zombies all around us. And that might be in a later season when they kill people. Spoiler alert. But there's a major death in season four. Before the minute, before the season finale. Okay. The sanctuary that they were talking on the radio. My prediction is Carol was the one who made that somehow. Maybe the pixelated her voice, but or maybe she was part of the group that maybe she had some friends in that group. And so she begins or when she was kicked out, she might just have went with that group, and then it might be like a um, foreshadowing for her, like, voice on the radio. Okay, so, Macon, the place that Michonne wanted to go, that she showed in, like, the map, that she, she circled Macon. That seems like foreshadowing, that it was right around episode 6 or 7, no, episode, like, 5 or 6 when they show that, so that seems a little fatigue that they would show that. And they like not go there, so that might be in a, another team but not this one maybe. Alright. Washington DC. Season five, they're gonna be in Washington DC. Because if you go to IMDB, they actually show you where they're gonna go. There's gonna be a new fight and a new enemy. I think it's going to be Negan, or Negan, however you say it. Okay, it's time for the top 10 spoilers for The Walking Dead, from season 4 to 6. Number 1, Baby Judith is Alive, season 4. The proof is that Tyrese has the baby, but that'll leave someone else take the baby and take care of it. But that'll talk about more, more when a number comes up. Number two, Carol gets back together with the group. And there's a picture of her kissing Nero in episode 10. In either episode 10, 11, or 12. So, if you're a Carol fan, you're welcome. 
Three. Maggie commits suicide, but sadly, she died. Number four. Maggie committing suicide was um either season five or six because Beth might die. Even though I hope she doesn't, she might die in season four. Probably not because people, everybody says she's gonna die, but she's not. And she's one of the predictable ones, so that's why. Alright. Number five. If you people do not want to listen to number five, turn your sound off now. I'm giving you five seconds. Number five. This may sound sad to you. Or predictable. Baby Judith gets bit by a zombie. And Michonne has to let Baby Judith down. Which means Michelle has to kill her with her machete. Number six. They are going to Washington, D.C. Alexandria St. Bone. I don't know what for though, but okay. Number seven. A character from the video game comes to TV. My guess is Clementine. If you would like to see Clementine, please leave comments down below and tell me who you think is going to be in it. Number eight. Glenn dies in season four. Maggie dies in season five. Bob Silky dies in either five or six. Number nine, spoiler. Rick dies in season ten. Sasha, Ben, Carol, Michelle, Daryl, Tyree, Lizzie, Mika, Molly, and Lily are alive at the end of the TV series. And Carl. Oh. And the people who I think are going to die this season, I'll just say their names out loud. Or I'll just say who I think are going to die between now and season five. Glenn, dead. Maggie, dead. Carol, dead. Sorry, Beth, but dead. Tyree, no. Sasha, I guess dead. Bob Stokey, dead. Lizzie, dead. Luke, dead. Mika, dead. Molly, dead. Sam, dead. Judith, dead. The Hunter, dead. And then, I will play it, not go in there. Megan, not go in there. Baby Judith, alive. At uh, Carol Kisses, at uh, Maggie Smith Suicide, yes. So, my prediction for people dying in the next two seasons are The Hunter, Judith Grimes, Molly, Mika, Luke, Lizzie, Bob Stokey, Sasha, Beth Green, Carol, Michelle, Carl, no, not Carl, sorry, wrong person, Maggie, and Glenn. People still alive by season six. Rick, Daryl, Carl, Michelle, Tyrese, Morgan Jones, Ab Abraham, Rosita, Eugene, Gareth, Tara, the Saviors, possibly. Not that. So I think Sasha won't be alive at the end. Beth possibly couldn't be alive at the end. Tyree, dead. Lizzie, dead. Mika, dead. Molly, dead. Lily, dead. So just Carl, Michonne, and Daryl alive at the end. I think those three will be the final three of The Walking Dead. And out of those three, I only have two. So, maybe the third to last step will be Daryl. Or, if they wanted to make Daryl the last, Carl. Then I would make Michelle Barry. And that concludes as my Walking Dead Season 4, 5, 6 video. I hope you people liked it. Well, please leave comments down below if you like it. Thank you.
you everybody for supporting me for a year almost. Well, a year would be August 29th, but thank you for supporting me. And this video, this video concludes. Thank you for watching The Walking Dead Season 4, 5, and 6 Talk. The Walking Dead premiere Sunday, February 9th, 2014 at 9 p.m. on AMT. Thank you. Don't forget to leave comments down below of who you think are going to die. I'll give you three people who I think are going to die this season. Megan, or Glenn, Lizzie, Mika, and Carol. And three people who will be alive by five people will be a five people who will be alive by season five. Rick, Carl, Daryl, Michonne, and Carl. Wait, Rick, Carl, Michonne, Daryl, and Beth. And one place where you think they're gonna go. Washington DC. Thank you. My motto is keep a sign but keep the sign up and shine down. Cause tomorrow is a bright day for you. Keep it in your head. Great night.